Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Lightroom, Photoshop and Photography. So today I will talk about tonal range and uh, this is very very important concept in photography as well as in uh, Photoshop as well as in Lightroom. So what is tonal range? Uh, whenever we click uh, image in the camera then it stores levels in their format like J if I, I talk about JPEG it uh, stores the level it stores the data in the levels so for JPEG image 8 bit image uh, there are uh, 0 to 2 double 5 levels are there for 8 bit file uh, suppose this is our uh, levels uh, this uh, gradient as shown in the figure uh, from black to white its value is uh, 0 to 255 and uh, it is the middle gray and the center part of the levels if I talk about this point and uh, there is a maximum detail in this point it is called middle gray uh, everything uh, beyond this uh, if I talk about 240 to 245 then it is called white with detail in this point uh, in this uh, data of the image there are full details are available in the white points uh, its value is 240 to 245 uh, if we more about uh, uh, if I more than this value then there is no details but we have pure white uh, in photography term we uh, talk it blown out area then you will get blown out area with the, the level of 255 that is pure white and uh, anything value that is uh, uh, blue 128 uh, 20 to 25 uh, it's black with detail if you got this value in the levels then uh, you have uh, black area with the detail and uh, anything below this point and uh, suppose uh, we have zero levels in the image then there is no detail in your image so it is very very uh, important if uh, you are dealing with the Lightroom if you are dealing with the Photoshop or uh, you are doing photography so these are very very important points uh, you generally saw a levels uh, uh, in the in the command of level in the Photoshop uh, you will get all these values I will show you how uh, these value works uh, so friends uh, if I talk about the JPEG uh, JPEG is generally 8-bit uh, file uh, it depends on the camera uh, mostly raw files are 12-bit to 14-bit and uh, up to 16-bit and uh, in 8 bit file there are 256 levels and uh, that I have shown you earlier and uh, in raw file there is uh, more than 4000 levels and you can imagine that uh, there is a lots of detail in the raw image uh, mostly the expenses camera uh, they have uh, 14 bit or 16 bit image and uh, in 14 bit image there is uh, more than 16000 levels and uh, in 16 bit image there is uh, more than 65,000 of levels so you can imagine in raw file generally uh, it's a 12 bit 14 bit or 16 bit uh, jpeg is, uh, jpeg uh, jpeg file is only 8 bit and it has only 256 levels so i generally uh, capture raw in my dslr camera uh, i use always raw and uh, it's my uh, suggestion to you if you are uh, using DSLR camera and uh, you should prefer raw files because there is a lots of data in the image and uh, as you can see and you can find also on the internet and uh, these values so it's very very important to understand all these values so friends it's uh, very easy to understand that if you have the more data then it is very easy to enhance your image if you are uh, working with contrast if you are working with uh, sharpness and uh, all about um, to enhance your image and uh, if you have the more data then uh, your result will be very good uh, so it's my gradient and uh, and uh, i will show you that uh, how it will work uh, it's a general topic uh, if i talk about lightroom or photoshop uh, the journal concept is same and uh, 
how to work with the contrast and how to work with the white points and black points all concepts are same in photoshop as well as in the lightroom so this is my layer and uh, if i go to this adjustment then uh, choose bright and contrast uh, this is my uh, brightness and uh, this is my contrast if i decrease the brightness generally it is doing that uh, it is uh, putting more black to the white side as you can see if i uh, it's if i put its value to 0 then uh, it's uh, original and uh, uh, if i move this slider to the left side if uh, uh, i am putting the black point to the white points so if i increase the value of this brightness i am uh, putting more white to this black shade if I increase the contrast and uh, it's doing that uh, it's uh, uh, putting uh, white uh, putting more white to the white points as well as uh, the more black to the black points it's very easy to understand 